Hi Scorpio, welcome and so welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Lyceus Tarot and from the Whispers of Love Oracle Cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high angel spirit, guys, means to love and light the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement? For Scorpio, that's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. Oh, this is funny. How did this get in the tarot? We're going to take it. What? This is hilarious. Thank you, God Most High. <laughs> this is funny. Look. You have the Six of Cups that has a dog, a puppy, that grew and matured to a full adult dog on the card, right? This dog card was stuck in between the tarot. What? That has never, ever happened. This is divine, <laughs> Scorpio. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get to your message. You have the Six of Cups, which represents you reminiscing about a past experience with uh, someone or a pet that really brought you great joy and peace and happiness. So for some of you, you may have had a puppy and perhaps your puppy has transitioned. And if that is the case, my condolences to you. And you've been just really thinking about them most recently. And I feel like if they are coming to you in your dreams or things that they love to do um, here on earth are coming up for you, I feel like you're being encouraged to really sit with the messages that you're getting to find out how they're trying to guide and lead you even at this time. Because we know that spirits transition over into the other world right rather it is a pet or a human that transition into the spirit world but the spirit is forever so consider being mindful of messages that are coming to you also if you have been in the um Oh, what do you call it? If you've been, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, the point I'm trying to make is if you've been searching for a pet for perhaps um, your child who's desiring a pet, this is your confirmation to go ahead and proceed with purchasing a pet. Of course, you want to make sure that if you, from whatever source you obtain the pet from, right, the puppy, from whatever resource, you want to make sure that the puppy is very healthy. So you may have a, a child in your life, rather it is your child, an adopted child, a child that you are raising that's asking for a puppy. This is your confirmation to proceed with it. And if you've been out and about visiting shelters or pet shops and there's a full grown dog who is in need of shelter, need of a loving home, this is your confirmation to go ahead and proceed with that purchase, making sure that the dog, of course, is healthy. And if they do have any health issues, if you're willing to take on that huge responsibility of caring for a dog that's possibly unhealthy, but needs love nonetheless. All right. And yeah, I feel like it's, this is just a very emotional time for you. And you're just really reminiscing about past connections, relationships, 
with others and or relationship with your pets that brought you great joy or has been bringing you great joy. Six is the number of balance and harmony. And I'm going to get to that dot card that was stuck in the deck with the keyword of loyalty. The message is you may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. So if someone's giving you mixed signals, just bring it to their attention as their perspective on loyalty may differ from yours. Okay? Where you're looking for them to be loyal like you are to them, it's not going to happen because we're all very different individuals and their perspective, what they see as loyal varies from what you see as a representation of loyalty. So have a conversation about it and see where it goes. You may be surprised that they were not aware that their representation of loyalty was not reflective of the connection that you have with them. You know what I mean? All right, Scorpio. You also have the Four of Cups. So you may be feeling like you need to be stimulated in some way, right? What's happening in your current situation has brought you to a place of boredom, not feeling excited, energized, or enthusiastic at all. I would say that it is important for you to start with expressing gratitude for everything that you already have rather than giving all your energy to thinking about what you don't have or how you're bored or how you're discontent at this time. As you can see here with the Four of Cups, right, there is a tuning bowl that's being presented. But because she's so focused on what she doesn't have or how things aren't working, that she can't even see the blessing that's right in her face. Four is the number of stability. So I feel like you're being encouraged to create that stability in your life or in your current situation which will help you to elevate your emotions and will help you to become more enthusiastic about life in general. You have the power and the ability to bring joy, happiness into your life. It is not dependent upon anyone else. You control that. If you are bored, if you are discontent, you have the power, the authority, the key to making the necessary change that you want to see. It starts with you. Okay, so take pro a proactive action. Finally, you have the Two of Cups, which speaks to a divine connection that is going to present itself and it's up to you if you decide that you want to engage in the connection. It could be a business connection. Someone may want to collaborate with you. I'm getting with um, a pre presentation of some sort. Or it could be that there is a connection that is established as a friend even as a lover but it's completely up to you to be receptive to want to engage with the connection 
and the connection is with divine divine harmony like the connection is an equal of an equal energy exchange you see here how the energy is flowing between the two individuals right their connection so the connection will be one that is of equal energy exchange and again a divine connection like it was meant to be so consider embracing this opportunity to have this connection rather it's business friendship or romantic it's completely up to you you have options two is a number of options opportunity um, it is the number that speaks to uh, connection divine connection that is in this case so con consider those things and if the boredom is due to a lack of connection because you've got a lot of energy that's surrounding the cups relationship energy right you have all three of your tarot cards are cups so at this time this is a very emotional time for you reminiscing wanting things to change deciding if you're going to take the opportunity to embrace a change an opportunity for a divine connection now we are in mercury retrograde season so you could be experiencing in the days ahead someone from the past coming back they could be coming back just to connect to say hello just to see how you are or they could be coming back to try to reconcile and to start a fresh connection with you as you know during mercury retrograde season that anyone who's coming back from your past that wants to reconcile especially if the condition that in which you dissolve your relationship was based on circumstances that did not align with your well-being you may want to consider not reigniting that because this is a mercury retrograde season so there is a possibility that someone will try to come back to reconcile and reestablish connection we know that during the mercury retrograde season when exes come back or um, friends that we no longer connected with attempt to come back it's really just mercury mercury retrograde doing what it does so are we completely over and done with the connection that did not serve our well-being or we're ready to open the door to start a cycle all over again no you don't want to start that cycle all over again you ended it for a reason remember that keep that in mind keep that in mind i've already had my experience of someone from the past coming back and it wasn't negative at all i was wondering when the person reached out to me it was like why are they reaching out to me it's been over um, two years you see so you know i just responded to see you know where is this going ultimately they just wanted to say hello and see how I was doing so I was like okay that's cool and that was the end of the conversation so you see what I mean 
It could be something as simple as someone just trying to connect with you to see how things are going with you or someone really wanting to come back, feeling a desire to come back to you because they miss you and want to reignite the connection. The connection was dissolved for a reason. Keep that in mind. All right. So as we move on to the whispers of the love oracle card, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. Scorpio, let's see what you have. Yeah, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So there is good in every person. Each individual does have goodness within them. So you're just simply being asked to look at the good. Focus on love. Right? That doesn't mean that you have to let someone back into your life that did not serve your well-being. Just see the goodness in them. Look at it from a perspective of love. Okay? Again, it doesn't mean you have to invite them back in to have an experience reignited to engage in a cycle again. That's not what this is. It's just asking you to look at the goodness in everyone because everyone does have goodness in them. S some people are, some people are mean. Some people are, some people are mean. Some people are manipulative. Some people are You fill in the blank. But in spite of, there still is some form of goodness, some level of goodness within them. Right? And we just have to honor that level of goodness that's within them. So Scorpio, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here. If you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to consider subscribing like, comment, share, turn on your notification, check out the community tab as well as the membership um, option as well. All right. And if you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment in the comment section. You can just leave me a heart emoji with your favorite color in the comment section to let me know that this message did touch your heart in some way. And if you say to the end, leave me a smiley face emoji that would be greatly appreciated all right scorpio take good care of yourself i will talk to you soon peace and blessings to you bye for now oh look you've got the number six again what hold on you've got the number six three times six here four and two four and two six Two and four, six. So you've got six showing up in your reading twice. I'm sorry, three times. It's showing up in your reading three times. What a synchronicity. So you have six, six, six showing up in your reading. So bear with me. I want to get for you the numerology card for 666 hold on since it came up since i saw that thank you god most high and that's just a candle going out and um don't let anyone dim your light don't let anyone bring you down don't let anyone try to yeah dim your lights let your light shine don't let anyone try to damper your light in any way. Snuff your light out. Don't allow that. Okay? 
let your light shine bright as you can shine bright as you can shine all right so you're just going to hear me moving the chair Let's see how the uh, number 666 applies to your current situation. Wow, I'm so glad I saw that. Thank you, God Most High. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 666. I was like, what? Wait a minute. Okay. 666 and the message is with the keyword reflect love affection compassion kindness attention self-love several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel this is a chance to reevaluate your identity you need a mental shift toward a greater optimism self-assurance and trust put your faith in your gut and inner voice pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person that's beautiful so this is the message for you with regards to the number 666 which showed up as a synchronicity for you now scorpio this concludes your message Take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.